Kenya is boycotting the start of an international court of justice hearing to decide its maritime border with Somalia. The dispute is over a triangle-shaped area of about 100,000 square kilometers. There's been growing tensions and so far diplomatic talks have failed to resolve the issue. Kenya has also informed the court that influential third party commercial interests are fueling the case that threatens to destabilize the peace and security of an already fragile region. Kenya insisting. The maritime border dispute between Kenya and Somalia can quickly be settled by observing a simple fact. All of Africa's maritime borders on the Indian Ocean follow lines of latitude. That is, the South Africa-Mozambique maritime border, Tanzania-Mozambique maritime border, and the Kenya-Tanzania maritime border. Until 2018, the Kenya-Somalia maritime border was internationally recognized to also follow the line of latitude along the Indian Ocean. This was a fact that Somalia recognized for a documented 35 years beginning in 1979. So what changed? Between 2012 and 2014, Kenya conducted extensive mineral exploration of her territorial waters in the continental shelf 200 nautical miles off her coast. Somalia was aware of the process and monitored closely to make sure Kenya did not stray into their side of the continental shelf. Nothing much was expected of this exploration, so Somalia did not dispute Kenya conducting the research. In any case, Somalia was much more protectionist of her deep water fishing zones further north of the maritime border. But the exploration revealed significant oil and natural gas deposits below the continental shelf. And when Kenya announced plans to begin mining, a number of third parties, namely corporations and big oil from Europe, got interested. As we all know, the discovery of oil often leads to destabilization of a region through proxy interference and sudden conflict. But since Kenya has enjoyed years of stability and Somalia is still too fragile to destabilize after years of civil conflict and a persisting terror group entrenched in the vast land territory, a new strategy was needed and it is a strategy that threatens to upend the East Africa region worse than American intervention in Libya or the Middle East. Through backdoor dealings and promises to the Somali government, brokers have advanced a territory dispute in the International Court of Justice, a UN body which on paper has the power to make significant rulings, but in truth has little framework to enforce those rulings leading to perpetual diplomatic breakdowns between several nations. Take, for example, the ICJ ruling on a territory dispute between the United Kingdom and Albania over the Corfu Channel and Islands. The ICJ, being unable to enforce the ruling over territory ownership, has had the Albanian people being left to watch as the more powerful UK Navy parades in their waters without their consent, even though it is an intrusion of the sovereignty of Albania. Furthermore, the ICJ ruling significantly reduced the maritime resources available to Albania and awarded them to the UK, despite the UK having more access to open seas along all her borders, a fact Albania brought up repeatedly but was shut down. This is the outcome likely in the Kenya-Somalia dispute, and it will not just affect Kenya's ability to mine oil and gas. Since 1965, Kenyan fishermen have made their livelihoods in the 100,000 square kilometers that is said to be taken through the ICJ ruling. The tourism, academic research, and import-export sectors are also going to take multi-billion dollar hits in a single year from the decision, rendering thousands of Kenyans jobless just as the country is set to begin post-pandemic recovery efforts. Despite Somalia owning over 3,000 kilometers of shoreline and the largest maritime territory in all Africa, the interests of faceless corporations in Europe have advanced a territorial grab that will negatively impact another country, Kenya, which has the smallest maritime territory on the Indian Ocean, 
and likely spark the next chapter of inter-African unrest that will last a generation. The simple fact is that the Kenya-Somalia maritime border has been recognized for many decades, but greed by the Somali government and big oil in Europe has created a fiction that will likely be upheld by a court unable to enforce a disastrous ruling.